Okay, so in this lecture we will discuss the uh, Fourier analysis of a uh, square waveform. So here you can see uh, the uh, expression for the Fourier series analysis. This is the DC component. Um, uh, this, uh, these are the cosine frequencies and then there are the sine frequencies. EN and BN are the uh, Fourier series coefficients and representing the magnitude of the cosine and the sine frequency. So DC component uh, there is a node that can be evaluated with the help of uh, uh, this expression and the AN uh, that's the magnitude of the cosine frequency that can be evaluated with the help of um, uh, this expression and the BN can be calculated with the help of uh, this one. So if we now um, uh, assume a square waveform um, so um, that is plus Vs and minus V and that is varying between plus Vs and minus Vs. So um, let's perform the Fourier series analysis of this one. So um, the DC component for this one A0 will be equal to uh, 1 by 2 by integration of the signal over the time period and if you um, solve that one that will come out to be 0. Uh, because you can see that the positive area and the negative area both of them are equal in this case there is no off offset so that's why it is zero and uh, then calculating the en according to um, this expression en is 2 uh, by t uh, integration of the signal multiplication with cos of an omega t over the time period so if we um, evaluate a and that um, also comes out to be zero and uh, then evaluating the BN the BN um, is evaluated like that uh, BN is um, given by this expression so uh, from zero to pi it is Vs and so uh, from pi to two pi it is minus Vs simplifying this one you will be getting uh, this expression now solving this expression for uh, even and odd values uh, we can um, um, see what will be the result. So when n is an even number, uh, this expression comes out to be um, minus 2 plus 1 and plus 1 considering n is equal to any one number. And that let's suppose 2 or 4 or 6 something like that. So the bn will come out to be 0. And if this n is an odd number uh, so for any value of the n 1 3 5 and so on this comes out to be 4 vs by n pi so bn is given by this expression so now using the basic expression for the four year series uh, that is given like this a naught is 0 and a n is 0 in this case as we have seen before only bn is going to be there so for your series representation of the square waveform will be uh, this one and having the value of bn that will be 4 vs by n pi now um, let us sketch the spectrum of this one spectrum is basically the plot of your um, uh, harmonic magnitude with respect to the harmonic order harmonic is basically the multiple of your fundamental frequency or the multiples of those ones so um, the first harmonic that is fundamental component and that is 4 vs by pi from this one and then uh, the second harmonic will be absent because this is only valid for the odd harmonic third harmonic will be 4 vs by 3 pi and um, fourth harmonic will be 0 fifth harmonic will be 4 vs by 5 pi then the sixth harmonic will be 0 seventh harmonic will be 4 vs by 7 pi and so on so now if we assume that, that it is 100 volt the fundamental component 4 vs by pi is 100 volt then the third harmonic will be 33.33 volt and um, and then uh, fifth harmonic will be 20 volt and the seventh harmonic will be 16.66 um, volt and the eleventh harmonic will be round about 11.11 uh, uh, volt so as the harmonic order increases the magnitude of the harmonics is going to uh, decrease but square waveform is the sum of all of those um, harmonics in finite uh, sine frequencies when added up together with the different magnitudes they give you the um, square waveform so a uh, square waveform is um, composed of all of those uh, sinusoidal uh, frequencies odd frequencies so this represents the spectrum of the um, square waveform 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिसनिंग दिस